Did Cher send you a present? Because we've heard that she's been sending some gifts. I'm hearing about this present from Cher. I have not received my present from Cher, but I don't need a present from Cher. Just being with her on the stage and hanging out with her was 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 a great gift in itself. I'm a huge fan of the woman's work and huge fan of it. Even a bigger fan now, having worked with the lady. She has such a generous spirit of heart. You know, it's not an it's not an easy thing to walk into a a company of actors and the day she walked in was glorious she you know she she quivered she has such a lovely pierce brosnan is an irish actor with a net worth of 200 million dollars he is probably best known for playing james bond in the film's golden eye tomorrow's empire the world is not enough and die another day brosnan has also contributed his voice to the video games james bond 7 anything goes and james bond 7 nightfire in addition to the bond films pierce brosnan starred in dozens of movies perhaps most notably mrs doubtfire and several tv movies heist murder 101 victims of love death train don't talk to strangers and the night watch from 1982 to 1987 he starred in the tv series remington steel the film's golden eye and tomorrow never dies earned him a saturn award nomination for best actor also in 1997 brosnan starred in robinson crusoe and later in dante's peak camelot's journey and nephew where he began his career as a producer through his other bond films brosnan won the empire award for best actor as well as several best actor nominations She's such a beautiful woman, and yet she's a girl as well. She encompasses many, many facets of womanhood. And that beautiful voice and those beautiful eyes. I can't shout over this. They're very loud and... Pranks? Well, none, none that come to mind right now, but any... My dancing? I can't hear you. You've got to speak up. You got, you, everyone was involved in getting Jeremy to dance? Oh, the boys, those boys, yeah. They, they, they had a good fun with uh, my younger self, Jeremy. I can't remember what happened, but anyway, listen, love you all. If you're unhappy going into the cinema, you'll come out full of joy and life. He appeared alongside Merle Streep in the ABBA musical Mamma Mia. Brosnan also appeared in the films The Greatest, Percy Jackson and The Flash, Spectre, Remember Me, Salvation Boulevard, I Don't Know How She Does It, Love Is All You Need, The World's End, The Long, Long Walk, The November Man, Lessons in Love, Survivor, Nowhere to Run, Christmas Star, Urging It and The Only Boy Left Alive in New York. In 2017, he played Ali McAuliffe in the TV series Sun. In 1997, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7021 Hollywood. Wood Boulevard. In 2003, Queen Elizabeth II awarded Brosnan the Order of Merit of the British Empire. As an Irish citizen, he was unable to receive the official title of knighthood. Pierce was married to actress Cassandra Harris until her death in 1991. Since 2001, he has been married to Keely Shea Smith. Pierce made $4 million in 1995's Golden Eye. That's the same as about $7 million today on an inflation-adjusted basis. He then made $8.2 million for Tomorrow's Empire, $12.4 million for The World Is Not Enough, and $16.5 million for Die Another Day. One, I'm Malika Zedley, and we are here with Keely and Pierce Brosnan. There's, they need no introduction, right? Especially this guy, James Bond. One always needs an introduction, thank you so much. He's real, he's real. real. I am real, <laughs> I've been real for many years now, one way or the other. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely to be here, aloha. Yes, congratulations for being honored this evening with the Pathfinder Award. I know both of you were honored also recently at the Euro Cinema Hawaii Festival. That must have been great. I mean, Hawaii loves you guys, and you love Hawaii. I want to hear about your love affair with Hawaii. How did this all start? I grew up here. I grew up on Oahu. 1963, my father came over to open the Alamona Shopping Center. He worked as an executive for J.C. Penney's. So my earliest memories are here, and uh, it's just a place we love. Yeah, so you guys fell in love, and then that's how he got here. That's, that's exactly. That's, that's more or less, yes. I mean, I'm an island boy. I'm from Ireland, and oh, Keely okay. grew up yes. here. So yes, uh, and 
Pierce Brosnan earned a total of about $48 million playing James Bond. Pierce and Keeley own a number of impressive properties around the world. In 1996, Pierce purchased a non-foreclosure home in Malibu for $600,000 on his own. He sold his home in 2012 for $2.6 million. In 2000, the Brosnans purchased a waterfront property in Malibu for an undisclosed price. They eventually acquired the property next door and pieced together an entire acre of land. In all, they spent about $7.4 million on the land. They began demolishing the existing structure and built a 13,000-square-foot Tahitian-style mansion nestled 120 feet from the ocean on Malibu's coveted wide beach. They named their estate the Orchid House. For many summers, Pierce and Keeley rented the house for $250,000 a month during the summer. A fire in 2015 destroyed part of the house, including the garage, which housed several extremely valuable cars, including a 2002 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish made famous by the 2002 Bond film Die Another Day. The house was damaged again in November 2019 when the Woolsey fire destroyed much of Malibu. In September 2020, Pierce and Keeley put their Malibu property up for sale with a bid of up to $100 million. In September 2019, the Brosnan family purchased a relatively modest home in Santa Monica, California, for $2.4 million. Outside of California, the Brosnans own a multifamily home near Anini Beach on the island of Kauai, Hawaii. Nearby neighbors include Bette Midler, Mark Zuckerberg, and Ben Stiller. Well, you lose it sometimes. You lose it, and you have to be strong enough to lose it.